Hello and welcome to, or welcome back to some more Backpack Hero. Uh, we're still running around in the uh, towns on the experimental branch. Uh, it's it's honestly, honestly probably one of the best updates I've seen to a game. Uh, it, this game is just it's a completely brand new game. Uh, it's it's so well done. Uh, so. Uh, sorry about the last couple of days and my voice may be a little bit off. Uh, <laughs> the weather went from 80 to like 40 uh, overnight here in uh, in Texas. And uh, I spent a bunch of time outside working and uh, working on my lawnmower. And then uh, we're going to be uh, back in here doing this. So I did open Tote. So we have Tote open here real quick. Let me... So we do have Tote open, uh, and uh, we're going to go take Tote out and go see what's going to go on. Uh, you know what? Let's go where I kind of did the, the tutorial. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't finish. Uh, so we're just going to do magic archery because uh, I like archery, and uh, we'll see how this works out. So we're going to go adventuring here. So if you're trying to figure out open Tote, uh, oh, great. so Tote does a little weird. Uh, all the stuff goes down here. You don't keep anything in your backpack. It all goes into your deck of cards. So we have on some adds eight block, right? We here we have add zero energy, fires the first arrow, right? Uh, here create spirit bolts above and below, uh, and then uh, flowering arrow. Uh, each empty space to the right, five damage, right? All right, so easy enough. All right, so normal stuff here. Uh, so. We can either go to the crypt or we can go to the bramble. Oh, let's go to the bramble. Why not? So, Toad's a little bit different. Uh, you keep... She summons things uh, instead of doing... I guess it's... I don't know. I, for some reason, I think it's a she. I don't know why. Um, so, we'll do this and we'll go... We'll pray for him. Uh, the magic... So you do have the ability to store things and also summon things. Uh, we're not doing mana this time, so we will pass on the shirt. Thank you, though, my friend. All right, so we have... Right, that one's going to heal. This one's going to try to wackadoodle us. Uh, and then... They're going to dodge the first turn anyway. All right, so we have... We don't need any of those. So we're going to go ahead. We'll take the flower bow, I guess. Put that in. Uh, each turn creates spirit bolts above and below. Um, we'll do that there like this. And we'll do this one here like this. And then, so I've summoned my things. Uh, I still have three of these points here. Uh, and then, so what I'm going to do is... Um, we are going to shoot this guy. So I get basically one shot, and then uh, that goes away. So, uh, <laughs> and then it goes into my discard. Sometimes it'll go into discard. Sometimes it'll go over here. This backpack gets full quickly. Toss discard uh, all carvings from the backpack. Use this whenever you need more space. Toss also does damage for each carving that is discarded. That deals additional damage to her target. So this one is a spirit bolt, so it's going to deal 15 damage. Uh, let's see. So we'll go ahead and do two of these like this. Uh, and this was a part where I was trying to get, like, it can't be used. Um, it, it won't let me toss anything, but I can't move that thing. Yeah, it says on use, so I need to move that down here, but it's not letting me. So this is, this is not being cooperative at any way. So I'm going to end up needing to block this guy. in turn. Oh, are those going to stay in my backpack?
Oh, so I just tossed everything. So that's not helpful. Um. So yeah, so it playing with this one can get a little bit, a little bit tricky, um, and trying to to figure out how to get the stuff to work and do that. Yeah, so, and, like, I don't know how to toss these things. Like, once they're there, I don't seem to be able to, real, be able to remove them. So I just need to toss everything, which is not helpful because now I don't have my bow on me anymore. Do, do, do. Like, I wish I could just toss some things, not everything. It can't be used. It can't be. All right. So we at least got them. All right. So we'll level up. We're going to push this, these out. I'll be right back. I'm going to go check on the dog. Old dog out there barking at the wind. All right. Let me see. Let me go ahead and get items here now. New carvings, adds them to our deck. Careful which ones you choose. Can't drop them later. Stores can remove carvings for a price. All right. So, do you have a shiny carving? Adjacent weapons get plus three damage. Uh, Centrale had haste to self. Okay. Melee hat or hatchet. Armor or shield is present. This carving is discarded. Draws one carving. I actually kind of like that one because that's basically just three damage and then it draws another carving. Uh, adjacent weapons get plus three damage. Could be... Oh, oh, oh can't, can only take one. All right. It's in the box. Uh, we already have three of those. Survival God removes five from all status effects on everyone. Carving is discarded. That's uh, four block. Poison carving. Kind of like this one. We'll go ahead and finish that one. Go up here and have a chat with the next guy. Hey, Mr. Krabs. So once again, I don't know. The bolts, I would assume. I'm going to do that. And then not do enough damage I need that I need to do. Do that. I do need to block. It's only going to give me eight block, though. All right, so now. Do that one. So that should give me 15. And that's going to give me 7. So I actually want to hit this guy though. Alright. that So that helps quite a bit. The trick would be is trying to figure out how to use. I guess if I put it down here. I could, I could fire twice. Each turn. Uh, okay, so if I have armor, it tosses it. Um, I could have used that one first and got rid of that guy's there. So we'll go ahead and end this turn. And then we'll just do this. 
we'll do this. We'll go pew. All right, so I think the play here is just to keep making the arrow longer because I just get more more spots. All right, crown of crown of roots for each empty space below get uh, plus one spikes. Adjacent weapons get plus two damage. And then on summon, it gets plus five. This one gets seven damage, apply seven poison. I'm not doing that. This one. I'm going to take that one. I think I, I think that one can work. It's trying to. You have to remember what everything looks like because you're just trying to to say, well, <laughs> what would work good and not be able to see what you're able to look at? I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I didn't mean to grab all that stuff, but I guess I can grab all of it. Um, do I want to take a small key? Uh, it's probably a good plan. Having a key laying around is usually helpful. All right. Uh, so I want to take this guy and put him like this. We'll put this guy here and macadoodle this guy. It's just good. That's exactly what I wanted. Put that there. And then we'll go ahead and get some block. We'll toss that thing. That'll be fine. So we'll do that. I wish you could just toss like some things. I guess it discards all. Yeah, so basically it tosses everything which isn't a bad plan i guess if you it's just a question of whether you'd want that or the other one so we can do this here and we'll put this guy here so that way this guy's getting yeah that's that's a good amount of damage like the milk cap here would be been, been good to i guess i can put the milk cap in front I killed him anyway. <laughs> Mossy brick. This item is heavy, adds three block. Carving is discarded. So basically discarded means that it's it's uh oh no it discarded is just goes away and comes back. Jason weapons get three damage. I already have one of those. I don't need a bunch of them. Um because the problem is, is, is you're, if I get too much stuff into my backpack, it'll eventually cause me other problems. Uh, so the, the trick here is to try to keep your, ultimately have it limited. Um, if I'm most of these under a toadstool, uh, I can remove carving for a price, right? So if I really go in here and I'm like, okay, I really don't like something, um, then I can choose something to be removed. But right now, I don't need anything removed. Um, poison. I kind of like the idea of the, the mossy carving. So this one is banished. So once I use it, it's it's gone. Um, and it, it won't come back. So we'll pass on those. Go get the chest of valuables. Upset the elite there. I left click to drag it. Okay, that is so annoying. Okay, so that's when a carving is summoned, and then okay, that's fine. I just. Crystal sap, when connected to three saps, deals 10 damage. 
Okay, I don't have any saps yet, so... Okay, we might as well just go fight this guy, because he's going to chase us down anyway. I'm gonna get blasted and you're never gonna steal all my money and there's nothing I can do about it. So I wonder if... Yeah, how much damage are you gonna do? 17... So you supposedly have six. Do you give me my money back? No. That did me no good. I'm just going to get blasted. Hey, at least I got money back. Now I just got to deal with this Yahoo. Um, we're just we're just taking them on the chin, evidently. Do that. All right, that's the end of that guy. I should have used that, but oh well. All right, so we got three more spaces. Get items. Uh, what's this arrow? Rose arrow. For each connected mana stone. I don't have any mana stones. Use more mana stones. It's great luck. It's banished. Guess we'll take that. Trying to limit how much stuff I'm picking up because it cost me money to get rid of it. Flowering arrow. That one may be good. Okay, so there's a whole set build. Green candle. Carvings behind this are discarded. So that one may be useful. Because that would at least give me a way to get rid of things. That way if I have something in there I need to move or get rid of, I can. Oh, good. This didn't work at all. This is great luck. I needed to move that over there. Go there like that now. I wish that one, but it's going to get rid of it because of that. I've got no damage. We should be able to. Nuke this guy into oblivion, which will be good. Let's do that. And then we'll do this one too. All right. 
the trick is is trying to get I uh, will go ahead and get the luck carving taking stuff that basically gets banished afterwards isn't that big of a deal because at least you know we don't have to worry about it clogging up the works but it's tote is cool because it's it's different it's something different um uh, we can get a mana stone sure that's not really where i want to put that though that's a garbage mana stone anyway um but it's something new and different uh i don't know if i want that Uh, if you leave, so if you don't summon that, I don't really want that. Fuel pellet. Okay. The refresh thing can be used again this turn. It doesn't seem to work. I just, I, I, I'm scared of what else I'm going to find in that. We'll get the health. I don't know if we're going to survive this one because I don't have, I haven't gotten anything to heal myself yet. It's the first time we ran into a forge. To armor, add natural to a carving. What does natural do? I can't add it. Oh, there it is, the bow. What does natural do? All right, moment where your carving disappears into a mist of sawdust, but then it finishes, he gives your carving back. Each edge is smoother and shinier than ever before. Okay. I don't understand. I don't understand what that did. Oh, I got to go that way anyway. Uh, we'll take the mossy carving. We'll poison to an enemy and it's discarded. Uh, we'll see if that works the way I hope it does. Go ahead, grab this guy here real quick. Oh, this is this was not the character to play. Try to get my brain to work this morning. Oh, I'll tell you right now, there's there's a lot of thought processes that go into this one. All right, so we want to put this one here, which means I want to put that one there and put this one here. And I have not nearly enough block. To be able to do what I need to do here. I have enough block to murderize that though. Alright, so I'm gonna save, I'm gonna put the poison down. Alright, good. So you just drop it and it tosses it. So we'll go ahead and toss that. Do this guy. We'll get rid of the guy in the back. Like this thing's useless to me if I'm using block. So it's basically useless. This one I don't want to do. This one because it will pull my poison off of him. And I just stuck that poison on him. I don't want to take it off. I fun with your poison. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Do that. Do that. We'll do that. All right. Oh, I got to use this. Uh, we'll do the lucky carving again. That guy there. Toss this guy. Give you some more poison, even though I don't think you're going to survive. Oh, you did barely survive. You poor bastards. 
All right. Look at that. Get items. I do see. Uh, we can. Oh, we can get another ethereal quiver. Mother's blade. Unsummon deals uh, twelve damage. Just carving is discarded. All adjacent kin are discarded. I don't know what a kin is. <laughs> uh, gem carving. I think I'm gonna go with another ethereal quiver. Um. So we'll finish choosing that one. Because if I throw two ethereal quivers down, then I can just at least have two two shots per turn. Right, so the idea would be to put this guy back here, put two ethereal quivers in. Um... So I guess those come back after every turn. That goes there. So if I put that there, I at least get the block from it. So it's not as bad. So this guy's going to do 27 damage. So I can kill this guy. Murdered. All right. So we'll go ahead and end this turn. Now, if... Does this work to give me block? Oh, it does give me block. Okay. Okay. Look at that, a lot of block. Okay. All right, we're starting to figure this out here. Starting to make this thing work. So we can do that, we can do, and then we can do that. And then we can do this. And then look at all the block we have all of a sudden. Then we can do this guy like that. And then we can shoot him in the face and murderize him. All right, let's go ahead and back these up. Um, that's fine. We can just leave that there. Just trying to make that thing for, for, for the arrows. Creates copies in each, creates copies in each empty space in this row. On you steals five damage. Um... That that might be fun. Shiny carving. That corn sap adds block discards. I think I'm gonna take this guy, just because that looks like it might be fun. Uh, I'm gonna see how that works out here in a minute. Um, on the next floor. Welcome to my game show. Uh, so we got a frog. Mask of Secrecy is not the top row. And I was plus one dodge. Uh, okay, we may need to take that with us. Frog Magician Boots. All right, let's roll the dice and see what happens. Okay, let's take let's take the uh, the mayor's doll. Oh, good. Take that here in a minute. Send some stuff back. All right. Let's go talk, have a chat with the boss. All right. So we'll put this guy in here. Put you here. Really like more block. 
Oh, of course you're going to dodge it. Why wouldn't you dodge it? Oh, okay. So when the arrow kills, I get more energy. Okay. Okay, why not? Let's let's put, start putting smoke in down here. This will be helpful. All right. Put you there, even though that's not the optimal place for that. Put you here. I need to get that egg corn removed. Oh, he's going to murderize me. That's what's going to happen. Oh, this may... Okay. All right, let's see what this thing does. Oh, not enough energy. Oh, it costs two energy to, to land it. Oh, that's not fun. Oh, okay, it takes energy to land things. I haven't been paying attention. You're going to heal for 33. I do not like that, just so we're clear. Uh, okay, so I only get energy when it kills things. All right. Ooh, frog hat. Minus one energy cost to clearing carvings in combat. Cracked bottle tosses adds additional damage for each carving in your pack. Backpack is full. Toss damage is doubled. Um... I think we're going to take the relic. Even though I'm not doing toss very much. So none of these are really. Really awesome for what I'm trying to do. I'm not able to really fill up my backpack though. Uh, green candles may be a good thing to do. Plus one damage till to till discarded. Five damage is good, and I think I'm gonna take one of those at least. Gotta be careful because I don't want to get too much stuff. Oh, there's another one. I should have went and talked to him first. Alright, so if I can do this, can I pull stuff out of my thing? I don't know if there's anything in here I really want to pull out. So this is a blue candle can be played over other items. Discard the all carvings in this row. Okay, that may be better. Hero carving can be played over other carvings that have been had or used. This carving is banished. One step, adds block. Another wooden shove. Dreaming rig. Ring. The carving is some in an adjacent or a diagonal space that's for block. I don't know if I really want to take those, even though that's not necessarily okay. So technically that ring isn't a shield. Definitely go talk to the healer. See if we can survive this this craziness, because I still have like several more floors to go through. This isn't gone well. This is this has gone poorly. Uh we will see if I survive.
problem is, is that if I left click to drag it, Okay, so you can go in and return carving at least. Yeah, if I go to left click to drag it, it just instantly drops it into my backpack and then drops it like these these aren't aren't spread out very very effectively. I don't like it. Care to do a trade? Different item, same rarity. Uh I yeah, I that may have been fine, but he would have probably hosed me over. Uh, let's see, a forge. I don't know what natural does. It's two spikes to a shield, two block to armor, two block to a sh three block to a shield. Um, no thanks. Go over here, this guy here. And the problem, okay, so, well, I guess. That will cost nothing to summon. This is going to cost me two to summon it. Okay. So we filled up with a bunch of squashes. Okay. That worked pretty much the way I wanted it to. Okay. Unused. Oh, okay, so the longer I keep it in my inventory, the better off it goes. Okay, I, that, that, that worked well. Do that. Do that, just going to get rid of it. We'll do that, just going to we'll eat that and we'll get rid of it. So this is going to do 32 damage. Did it do more? Each empty space to the right does 5 plus 5 damage. Holy cow. Okay, well. Oh. God. Oh, he's going to knock the crap out of me. Um, it's too late for me to do any of this stuff. Uh, the only thing I can really do is toss. Would deal 10 damage. I don't really have an option. Uh, yeah. There you go. 10 damage for you. How about that? I'm still going to take a massive amount of damage from him, but. I didn't really have a choice. So I'm going to put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. And then we'll put this guy down here. Okay. I was really hoping... To be able to get my arrow back, my bow back, that would have been truly helpful. Uh, and yet it didn't come back. Did my bow get discarded? No, it's just hidden. Just hidden. Um, let's see. I've only got twelve. Oh, I should have whacked him with that. Okay, this is not being helpful.
me. That was helpful. That can do this. That can do this. All right. That was a mess. Swamp Bingle adds energy. Unsummon adds one energy. Well, that's... Oh, it needs mana, though. I don't have any manas. Deals 8 damage. Carving is discarded. Adjacent carvings are discarded. Oh, but it needs mana also. I don't have any mana. Well, I have one mana, but... Alright, I don't want any of that stuff. It's not going with what I'm trying to go with. Uh, oh, good, the badger. Just the guy I was looking for. Daughter's Blade. Summons 10 damage and he steals 3 damage. This carving is discarded. Briar Dagger. Deals 5 damage. Can be used 2 times each turn. Horn Cap. Willow Shield. Another flowering arrow. The daughter's blade, if I'd have got the mother's blade, that would have would probably have been helpful. Flowering arrow, do we want to grab that one? Take the daughter's blade. Take the daughter's blade. Anything you have good? Gardener's helmet. Block, lucky carving. I don't want to spend my money here. Let me go to the next floor, see if I can survive this mess. I have a few stuff building up in town there. <laughs> oh, good. Let's put this guy in. Let's put that in. So how much damage? You're doing 32. Not enough to kill what I need to kill. Um, that's fine. Let's do that. Do that. Let's shoot that guy in the face. That would be great. So we're just going to do this here like this and like this. Then we're going to put this guy here like this and like this. And then that's all going to go everywhere. And then we're just going to destroy all the goo. That'll be great. Do this here. Do that there. First guy, we need to hit him. Problem is, he's going to dodge the first one. Alright, so that removes the dodge. So that's good. That slows him down. That hat thing, I don't know if it's... I haven't figured out how to use it yet. So it's it's making my life difficult. Oh, dead. Oh, so only get this stuff. Oh, weird. Take the slime back? No. I'm going to take the shield back. Well, that ended poorly. <laughs> so, as you can see, totes uh, kind of special, kind of hard to get used to. Um, it is a really different way to play the game. Uh, and that's really what I like most about this game is it's, it, it's basically five different games all built into one. It's, it's such a good game. Start to take my mind off the raid bridge building. Now, yay, here we, here you go. Oh, now we can build bridges. Now we can really expand this place. All right. That's good. I like bridges. Let's see what the bridges do. All right, let's go here. Let's go. Let's go build a bridge. Bridge. Nope. 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 
Okay, we can put one there. Okay. Can I rotate it? Can't rotate it. Let's go put one there. Put one over here. Think that gets us the ability to go everywhere now. All right. We can already do a fishing shack. Oh, dude, I, I've got so much food. I need probably a sawmill. Probably is a good thing to have. The farm. The sawmill is kind of all I really need. Don't put the sawmill up here in this top very. No. All right, build us another sawmill. Oh no. Oh no, what did I just destroy? My library. No. Uh, item pedestals, targets. So we can put targets around the archery thing. Um, pots, crates, dirt pass. All right. Go back up here. Oh, now you got stuff to say. Come here. Where are you going? So I got raided, uh, and they like kidnapped my dad. It, it was it wasn't good. I didn't like it. Now appearing in the dungeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the guys with the red eyes that chase me down. I, they don't like it. And then the other side you can do too is you can go here and we can just go click on the people that are highlighted, and it'll have us run straight to them until we get stuck on people that block our way. Don't know why anyone even knew the way over here. How'd you get here? I isolated myself here. I'm a bit of a scientist myself, and this is my retreat. But over the years, the cottage has fallen into disrepair. Well, I can barely do research there anymore. Could you maybe build me a new workshop, dearie? Constancy, Constance's house could really help me continue my research. Can you build that cottage for me? Sure, let's build a cottage. Constance's house. The house that gets built up there. So let me run to Constance's house. It is nice. The, the pathfinding is actually fairly decent until it isn't. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't really figure out where other people's are. Okay, so we can't do anything with her. Let me go talk to her again. Cottage Jerry is setting me up a new workshop now. Might make some delicious cookies in there too. Can I tell you a story? Back in the days when I forced barely few trees. I used to explore the dungeon just like you. There were a few of us that would go in so deep that you'd think come out the other side of the world. I used to go down there and research the old machinery that could find there, try and figure out how it worked. One day my dear good friend a rabbit named Matthew found this curious thing a little mouse made of metal we took it back to the lab to see if we could figure the thing out it was a horrible shape had to throw most of the parts out and relate them with the clockwork bits but we got it working again anybody say want to say crate and boy did he work he used to be such a sweetie and help me around my old lab he'd even go down the dungeon and fetch me materials but then I got lost my life during those doggone raids and with it, my dear robot friend. Now that I have my lab back, I can maybe see if we can find him. I miss him terribly. Do let me know if you see a little robot mouse down in the dungeon. How can I help you, dearie? Uh, you can tell me how to find my robot mouse. There you go. So we need, okay, so we basically have to find crates, head, body, and uh, legs. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, you get you get the sparks for that. Um, I, I I want I want crate. I want crate. 
All right. So we figured out how to unlock crate. Um, and then, uh, so I'll be working on that. And then hopefully the next episode will be with crate and then we'll be using my favorite character. Uh, but with that, and then we still have, we still have the other one uh, that has the hole in the backpack that loses stuff. So, uh, no, no, no. That's the, the, the one that summons pets. So, uh, we will, we will get all those in the next one. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. If you're enjoying it as much as I am, please go ahead and hit a like on it. If you have a question, a comment or concern, please throw that down below. And then also make sure you're subscribed to see more of this or any of the other stuff we're putting out. You guys be safe and we'll see y'all soon.